Pra Anon, or Ananda Bhikkhu, the Lord Buddha's chief disciple, asked permission to make robes for the monks. Unbelievably, his design came from a pattern seen in the paddy fields of the Madaka Kingdom in India. Since then, the same pattern has been passed down across the generations up to the present. The design resembles a patchwork, yet larger and so much more complex. It requires much time to complete and only need work is welcome. Great care epitomizes the entire process of making the robes. The dyeing, measuring, cutting, and especially the stitching should be very neat and precise. The last steps in the process are ironing and folding. But even folding follows a specific method, a meticulous technique requiring at least two persons. Each of the three robes has its own pattern for folding. If a set of robes is tailor-made, it must be ready to wear. It is a work of respect. It is done with the heart, spiritually motivated. And it is a true form of teamwork. Is it the wisdom of Buddhism to unite its members, disciples, and followers 
in the process of preparing the monastic robes? Yes, they are the team of peace, enriching real wisdom. And while performing their task, their spirits should be with the Lord Buddha. Their mental state creates the potential to enter onto the path of supreme truth revealed by the Lord Buddha, Sakaya Muni. Thus, the process of robe making is not an obligation. Instead, it is a divine undertaking. So we can say that the robes are woven by minds at peace, for peace of mind. This simple set of robes helps us to face our own existence. A Buddhist monk cannot buy himself a set of robes, even a single robe. A monk may only use a set of robes offered to him. And this offering occurs only once a year at the Katina ceremony, a rite performed in the latter part of the Buddhist Lent, when sets of robes or patrai are offered to the monks. It is the most important annual Buddhist ceremony. With these robes, Buddhist monks can live virtuously, sailing along the pathway of peace to the riches of absolute wisdom. And by them, real peace is guided and shared. A life of contentment becomes achievable for all people. With his lifetime limited by the constraints of time, amid the stream of change and delusion, the Buddhist monk earns the greatest rewards through attaining and sharing peace. Life is like a dewdrop falling from the beak of a waterfowl. Water trickles upon water. A person's short life can merge so easily into the stream of change and delusion. But enveloped 
in the monastic robes. He reflects the light of floating full moon. He brightens the world, giving hope to a life in darkness. <laughs>